Welcome back to the memes. That's Frank. I'm not the expert. And today we're playing some more Head Coach 09. This play is completely wacky. It's designed to give everybody on the right side a bit of an aneurysm because there's so much happening. We have a streak from the tight end position. And right next to him, we have a medium in, an angle route, and then the primary target is the wheel route with Coles. We just have a guy running a medium post just kind of as an extra distraction. But it's all designed to get that wheel route open. And of course, let me set a three-step drop for Woodson. Let's see how this works. My hypothesis is that this will only work against zone because there's really no man beaters at all in this play. But it's all designed to get that open space. Look how beautiful that is. This safety is tucked deep. Everybody in the middle is pinched up. Works beautifully. Because it's going to give the defense a headache, we're going to call this play Advil. You'd be surprised how long it took me to make that play. This game loves to crash in the middle right as I finish my play. Probably made it about a dozen times. My job status says I'm doing a great job, even though we're not going to make playoffs, but I only promised that we would be below 500. So we're actually knocking on the door of being close to 500. So if we beat those goals, I might get a contract extension or something. I don't know. As long as I still have my job, I'll be good. I'm going to focus on the intangible development for my quarterback. It's only up to level two now. Still very low, but I don't have that many points. My overall is 16, so how much can you expect from me? Defensive coordinator has 4,000 points. Going to spend his 4,000 points on the game film analysis skill. That way it increases the intangible player stats, which impact the ability to assess the situation on the field and remain aware of the opponent's maneuvering. Ah, sweet. We got enough to upgrade performance for the special teams coordinator. We'll take that. We have got to get a new running back coach next year. I mean, he's maxed out in the mental and he's pretty good in the physical and playbook knowledge, but his performance level is only one. We're going to use our wide receivers coach's points to dump it into performance, max him out, even though it's only to level two. So Dorian Bryant wants to re-sign with us. We can probably get him extremely cheap, so we're going to at least try to get him the lowest offer and see what happens. Nope. I mean, his production's been pretty good for us, despite him being 57 overall and having five awareness. Fine, we got him for not much money. If he starts in 16 games, he gets an incentive, but that's probably unlikely. San Francisco. So we're currently five and seven on the year starting this game. If we get up to 500, that'd be huge for me. My, at least my owner would be very happy, but we're not making playoffs. So we also got to keep in mind our draft position. So are we semi tanking? I don't know. I'm always going to try to get the win because you never know what could happen. We have got to get rid of Lorenzo Neal in the off season. He's just too old. He'll probably retire, to be honest. We're going to let him play. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> we're going to try this broadcast angle. You can't see much of the field here, but it's closer, so I can at least read the numbers. But we're blitzing them, and we're hitting them over the middle. Oh, yeah, that's right. They got Alex Smith. Oh, my goodness. We all got in the backfield. Good job, yes, lads. It, baby. Nice play. Oh, nice catch, dude. Oh, he almost threw a pick to Darrell Revis. He's been excellent this season. One of my favorite players on the team. Third and one. We got to get in there and get to the quarterback. 63, the big man. I don't even know who that is. We've been rocking with this broadcast angle for a while. You let me know in the comments. Do you prefer broadcast or overhead? Let's stick with this angle. Because we're just running right up the gut with Darren McFadden. Ugh, come on. Sometimes he just runs straight into the defense. It's frustrating. Got an injury, but I'm going to just ignore that right now. Got to get rid of it, Andre. Held on to it for days. Need another look at that. Third and 21. Rough start. Find Dorian Bryant. You got to check it to somebody. Almost threw a pick, but that'll be the end of our drive. We're going to have to punt it right back to him. We're getting a lot of pressure back there. What a catch. He's rolling out. Look at Alex Smith go. He's breaking tackles. Calais Campbell had to drag him out at the edge. Alex Smith moving. Does not have that messed up leg in this series. He's got all day to throw. Oh, a good break on the ball, Darrell. What a toss from Alex Smith. We don't make a great play next time. I'll hold you personally responsible. What do you want from me? defensive coordinator i'm doing my best out here in fact you're calling most of these plays not me you're the one on the hot seat that's right they got frank gore too but they're gonna pass it and that's gonna be a mistake because we're gonna sack him and i dig that we're gonna blitz him again but they're gonna likely have a guy open in the back throws it quickly on the slant touchdown 
I uh, got pretty mad at that, but I think most of them like it when I get emotional when I, the other team scores. So I'm going to keep doing that on defense. Now is the first time we're going to unleash Advil. Let's see how big brain this play actually is. I like to stick in this camera angle for the passing plays just so we can see it all play out. And they're running man and actually got a guy open. I'm surprised. Like it's a zone beater. That's what we worked on this week. Go McFadden. Good blocks on the outside. Big time run. What a call, coach. <laughs> he threw the ball on the defender too. Good block from the guard. Blocking well today, but didn't get much blocking on the edge. We're going to try. They see me rolling. The two wheel routes on the right side. It looks open, but he's going to the left, and that'll work too. First down. That's a nice play. McFadden's really tired. Crossing route looks open. Actually, the out route, and he threw that a mile over his head. Don't know what that was all about. Got a lot of space on the right side, and they have a lot of guys in zone on the left. So this could work. Look at how it's always open, but he's chucking it to the sky, and it's going to be picked off. Just because it's not learned yet. Terrible throw. Well, that's what you got to do when you run these plays. If they're unlearned, high likelihood of it getting intercepted. It's okay, buddy. You're still a rookie. You're going to learn. Get that sack, 71. Woo, good hit from Darrell Reeves. So I'm going to go out on the limit. I don't think we're going to score 70 points this game. <laughs> but we're learning. We're a project. We're, sometimes we're incredible. Sometimes we're awful. You never know what Jets team you're going to get. We've been getting good pressure, and I don't know why my corner just left him alone. Oh, almost a pick. Minter. He's one of the free agents we picked up. We've had to pick up so many free agents because of all our dang injuries. All day to throw, and he's getting another first down. Swatted down. Nice job, Justin Miller. Oh, he's rolling out again. Since when has Alex Smith done this? Are we not going to catch him? Jesus. He's much faster than I remember. Pick that off. Oh, so close. Is he out of bounds? Yep, no catch here. Third down. All right, we've got to get to sit back in coverage. Might actually need a QB spy on Alex Smith. He's done pretty well. So he's not going to be able to scramble out, but we're definitely not going to sack him. But that's going out of bounds. He's short. Well, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. What? What did I say? Did he miss it? No, he got it. 10-point game. We're still in this, lads. And if we lose, better draft pick. So, win-win for us. Looking short. That's McFadden. Good catch. He's actually not the best with his hands. No pause. Hopefully that short angle route gets open, and he's tossing it deep, and that's going to be picked off by the safety. Should have just took the first down, mate. Andre is not on his game today. Kids. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Andre woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Another pick? <laughs> Sometimes I love oh, the I messages. He, just did that. He, he got angry. But I mean, you're the one who threw the interception, not me, lad. I'm letting the coordinator call the rest of the plays for this half. Get to him. Calais Campbell in his face. What a snag. First and goal. We got guys coming at him, but that guy is wide open. Oh, it's haunting me, defensive coordinator. It's haunting me big time. We got to get some points back, so we got to start throwing the ball more. Everybody's covered. He's going to the outs. Way to stay on the sidelines. Throwing Kotri back. Why would we switch that angle? But there goes McFadden. Let's try play action. They're blitzing. That post route, or that guy's open too. Guy open on the left. Spinning off of him. Good effort. Right. Fourth and three. Get it back. Kotri's getting tired, but yeah, we're going to kick this field goal. Get some points back. Alexis Serna right down the middle. Beautiful kick. Oh, he's thrown in the coverage. That should have been a pick six. We've got it covered up right now. We just got to make the play in the air. Swat it down. Got to turn that into an interception next time, though. 
Get back there to Alex Smith. Don't let him roll out. We don't have a QB spy, but we got pressure coming up the middle, and we're laying him down. That's exactly what we were going for. We're going to get the ball back here. Throwing it across the middle. He usually does not do that. One inch at a time, fellas. Whoa, broke the tackle. He's got room on the left. That was a good run. Please don't throw a pick here. Just find the open man. Oh, and he threw a pick. I should have known. I should have not called this play. Uh, Advil might give me a headache because this one's going to be a pick six. Throw this play in the trash can. I mean, it's me calling terrible plays. I know we can do better than this, but everyone's going to love it if I bench him. The game is on the line. Yeah, let's try Kellen Clemens out just because everybody else wants me to do that. My approval's going to go up. Job's on the line here, Andre. I know you're the future, but you're just not getting it done right now, even though it's my fault. <laughs> that was 100% a crappy play call, and everybody knows it. Kellen Clemens in the game. Near the two-minute warning, too, so we're going to throw this ball a lot. Hit that man short, dude. Finally. Let's see, if Kellen Clemens wins this game, I'll be proud of him. Trying a bunch of learn plays here. Plays that we don't have mastered to try and get some more. And he ran a false start. Let's try this again. C route. I saw it too. Good catch. Coles is breaking it. First down. To the out. Cotry dropped it. He looks tired. Come on. What play is he running? Got guys open. Tried to hit the running back. Good idea. Find the guy, Kellen Clemens. Oh, such a dangerous pass. Definitely going to punt this one. Don't want to make this score worse than it already is. And not a good punt at all. Jesus. Ooh, get to him. He's making some dangerous throws. We're making some big hits, but we're not getting turnovers. Ooh, what a bad throw. I like blitzing here on third down. It's very aggressive. Gets it off quick, that little slant route. That's going to get him the first down. Wipe those dumb looks off your faces. Oh, oh my goodness. What a wallop. Stop him. Good. Halftime stats not looking so hot. Andre Woodson, three interceptions, most of them because I'm calling terrible plays. But we're going to pick it up in the second half with Kellen Clemens because his uh, confidence is a little bit higher. Darren McFadden averaging 3.8 yards per carry. Honestly, we've had worse games, but he needs to pick it up as well. Need him to make some big plays to get us back in it. As usual, Kotri is leading us in receiving. Dude's amazing. Definitely going to be on the team as long as possible. Got three sacks, two of them with David Harris. One with Thompson, one with Campbell. But we need some interceptions. Interceptions. We've had a bunch of deflections, especially from Darrell Revis. Needs to turn that into points the other way. Start this off with a good run, please. Good spin move. Darren McFadden off to the races. What a call, coach. Come on, make a miss. There you go, McFadden again. He's going. He could be gone. Let me get the right camera angle for him when he's running in. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. We're not subbing him out. He's the only good player we have right now. This is what I was saying. We needed these big plays from you, Darren McFadden, and you showed up. Now let's see if you can get like three more. Hit him. Throwing it off of his back foot, and he still completes it. You know what I just thought about? With Andre and his three interception game today, he's hurting his chances for rookie of the year significantly. But even in the simulated games, he's, he plays like this, so he just needs time to develop. Somebody hit this man. Make him fumble, please. Oh, <laughs> hit the guy in the chest. He's scrambling again. We're waking up, but we still can't tackle him. When did Alex Smith become Tim Tebow? Make a play on the ball. We're running out of time. Oh, never mind. That's going to be fourth down. Terry McFadden, carry us to victory, man. Ah, oh, they always get on his back. That wasn't pretty. Oh, another interception. No. The wheel routes just stink in this game, I guess. Four interceptions for our offense. He's throwing it in a coverage. Oh, I thought that was a touchdown for a second. Same guy can't catch it. We're going to blitz. I always play aggressive, and at least initially they like it, so my approval is pretty high. I can't see it right now. Oh, but we get the pick. Carry Rhodes. Tackled by Alex Smith, but that's going to work out. 93 approval right now. And if we manage to come back, get this win with Kellen Clemens, it's going to be huge. 
Oh no. Patrick Willis was in his face. We need a miracle from Kellen Clemens on this third and 14. Just find the open guy, Dorian Bryant. Oh no, he dropped it. This punter booted it straight for once. Can we get the tackle though? Near midfield. Oh, he got snagged on. This play is money against the run, but if they're throwing it, it's probably automatic touchdown. Oh, swatted down at the line. Hell of a play. Please don't run it. Should have it covered up. We sack him. He fumbled it. We got it. Another turnover in the red zone. So defense is making it happen. Need Kellen Clemens to lead us to victory so I can keep my approval. And also, you know, winning is nice too. Throwing that post route. Oh, he has a terrible arm. That thing was a duck, but we got the catch. Yeah, I am not running the wheel route the rest of this game. It is not doing well for us. Wheel route has accounted for, what, four interceptions for our offense? Stinky, if you ask me. Way to be patient. Please get us a first. And some more. Oh, we're getting good blocks, though. And there goes Darren McFadden, first down. He's starting to pick it up even more. Trying to balance out the carries a little bit more in this game. Leon Washington going to the outside. It was supposed to be a run at the middle, but he's getting a good chunk of yards there. How come it takes us until the fourth quarter to learn how to run the football? Oh, Leon Washington trying to do way too much. Play action time. Trying it from the on-field one. He's got a guy open across the middle. Roy Dale Williams with the first down. We're moving the ball. This might be Leon Washington's last run if he doesn't get a yard. Yep. Go left. Keep going, Darren. You're the big playmaker we need. Oh, God. Lorenzo Neal, his old ass is in the game, and we're going to get Somebody sacked. Find out why the heck we're throwing like high school kids. He didn't even throw the ball. Shut up. Get upfield. Got up to the eight. Got guys open quickly, throwing it almost through a pick, dude. Cannot have that here. We got to go for it right here. Hopefully this is a defining moment, so hopefully we get the touchdown too. Only a pea brain would kick the field goal here. We're going for the touchdown. Can I go created plays, please? I cannot. We're going to go shotgun pass. See, this is actually a pretty good play. I don't know if Slants can get it done. We're going to go with this play. I know it has a high success score. See, what, what yard line are we on? It, it would help if it told me that. Hopefully the C route gets open. So we're eight yards away. This play averages five. Look for the C route on the right side. It's not open. Way to adjust, but we got the touchdown. Let's go, Kellen Clemens. Defining moment and all is working out. Everybody's happy. Been a good comeback. The long play from Darren McFadden. Defense making two turnovers in the red zone. Been good. Just takes us a while to get it going. <laughs> Everyone wants to go to the onside kick. I mean, in most cases, I would not. We'll beat them the old-fashioned way. We need to score points as quickly as possible. I mean, they're going to hate me initially, but it, it works out for us. So if the defining moment works out in the end, I'm going to stick with the regular kickoff right here. I'm going to trust my own judgment. Everybody else might get a little ticked initially, but so be it. Well, they'll start farther down the field. But we have a better chance of stopping them. Still like 10 minutes left in the game. We don't have to rush it. Like a lot of people got pissed at us after that, but it'll work out in the end if we get the W. Look at that. <laughs> Dan Quinn's approval go down. They like it when I'm aggressive, but that one's just kind of crazy with 10 minutes left in the game. I think you guys are the ones out of pocket there, not me. Oh, got to wrap him up. Oh, man. Calais Campbell, I love you. Oh, how do you even catch that? Wrap him up. Fourth down. Good job, defense. Stepping up when it matters most. Into the end zone for the touchback. This is not a good play for Kellen Clemens, but I hope it works out. Oh, he had the right read, but he just does not have the accuracy. Dookie. Come on, Ligma. Get us a first. Ligma. For the first down. Hell yeah. Do that thing, McFadden. Do that thing. Oh, Darren McFadden ripping another one. He's got the speed to go all the way, too. Two rushing touchdowns on the game for him, and he's tying it up here in the fourth quarter with four minutes left. Does that get our approval back, coach? Nice, nice, very nice. That was outstanding. What, I got hype for Darren McFadden and he had a negative two approval change? I guess he's just used to being this amazing. I don't know how he came back and tied this up. Mainly just Darren McFadden and some luck. 
The defense and Darren McFadden. <laughs> they wanted me to do the onside kick, please. If we get the win, they'll see. They'll all see. Oh my, he didn't even get to hand it off. He's switching up, he wants to pass. No wait, he's... Maybe he does want to pass. We've got linebackers in coverage. Ah, oh, we should have got the sack. Terrell Revis making a quick tackle, the third and five. He's throwing it. He dropped it, fourth and five. We're getting the ball back with three and a half minutes to go. Kellen Clemens is gonna drive down, get us this victory. Darren McFadden getting open space again. That O-line is doing its job. Short runs here. I'm not really in a rush. As long as we get the first downs, of course. Leon Washington's got it in some more. Oh, they busted through. That's... Yikes. Get to the outside. Oh, a break and a tackle. First down. I love it when Kotri gets an open space. Come on, just stay in field goal range. Work this clock. Get some extra yards, McFadden. Make a miss. I think he got another first down. Second and inches, even better. We're gonna take our time calling this play. 200 rushing yard game again. Yeah, I'm gonna stay calm. I wanna see how he reacts to that. I think he likes it. No, he gets mad at that. He got mad when he scored the touchdown. I got hype for him, but he gets mad when I'm calm as well. This game is so confusing. Just cause McFadden's getting tired. Don't want him to get hurt. Need to balance out those carries. Dude's already got 200 rushing yards. Then there goes Leon Washington. They're taking terrible angles. They gotta be tired on that defense. We're taking our time. I don't want it to be on our kicker though. Lorenzo Neal, third pancake block. Let's get hype for him, the old fart. The old fart doesn't like it when I get hype. Whatever, I hate all of you. <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice, okay? Whatever you do, do not fumble it. McFadden, is that a touchdown? Nope. The kicker ready? Oh, look at the tight end. He's Toss it out, Darren McFadden. Oh no, we're gonna lose some yards. I would love to get a touchdown here, but I'm not gonna force it. They're down running back. We're gonna stick with McFadden, but we're gonna wait to call this play. Okay, timeout, timeout. No, we're not calling a timeout. We have a full minute left in the game. Just gonna stare at this play calling sheet for another 20 seconds, and then we'll blow a timeout. Close it out, Darren McFadden. Get your third rushing touchdown of the game. You're the MVP by far. Good block, Lorenzo Neal's breaking off of it. Is he in? All right. He is not. Get that kicker warmed up. I'm kicking the field goal here. Don't give me this defining moment crap. It isn't worth the risk. And we can use the three points. Yeah, what are you talking about, guys? Of course we're going to kick it. I can't call a timeout nothing. It, it's just stuck on this one. So hopefully they take their time and kick it near the end. But make sure you get it off this time. Because one time they never kicked it. Come on, guys. Kick it. You got ten seconds left. Kick it. Hike the ball. I can't even call a timeout. Five. Come on, please hike the ball. Thank goodness he made it. Okay. I've had it glitch up before where he doesn't kick it. <laughs> this game is so confusing sometimes. My approval goes down when I do the conservative options there. But we win the game with the last second field goal. I am happy. Kellen Clemens got it done. Even though he does not have an impressive stat line. One touchdown. One interception. 123 passing yards. Basically a game manager. Because the guy who got it done was Darren McFadden. A pretty mediocre first half, but the second half he came out running like crazy, dude. 23 attempts, 211 yards, two touchdowns, 9.1 yards per carry. Most of it came off of two huge runs. Kotri getting it done again. Eight catches, 114 receiving yards, one touchdown. And Lorenzo Neal actually led us in pancakes today with two. Proud of you, champ. I don't know how we came back and won that game, because look at the first half. We had three points, and we shut them out in the second half. They were close to scoring. Defense got two turnovers in the red zone. Very clutch. Interception by Kerry Rhodes. Alexis Serna, perfect on field goals today, including the game winner. Absolute champ. Balanced attack there. 246 rushing yards, 206 passing yards. I'm a happy coach. Hey, approval went back up to 85. So the players went down by eight, but we won the game. Why are they so cranky? The owner doesn't care. <laughs> That's so weird. You kick the game winning field goal and people get it butthurt about it but we also should have the positive change from like because it worked out switching out kellen clemens he ended up throwing an interception later but he got the win some people liked it some didn't can't please everybody Darren mcfadden's second 200 rushing yard game of the season this one gets him player of the week once again mcfadden's approval of me is 76 but he's thriving in my system right now so we have a change up Darren mcfadden is looking like he's going to win offensive rookie of the year now andre woodson has dropped to third
I mean, if you look at the stats this season, 18 touchdowns, 18 interceptions, almost 3,000 passing yards. He's been hit or miss some games. Like some games, it's amazing and he's unstoppable. Some games, he's just really, really bad. Darren McFadden is 30 yards away from 1,000 rushing yards on the season, 12 rushing touchdowns, only fumbled three times. Really hit his stride here in the second half of the season, too. Alexis Cerna is moving up for kicker of the year right now. He has a couple of game winners, 10 of 15. He's been good in the games I've played. Looking like Darrell Rivas actually might make the Pro Bowl. Well deserved. Dude's been awesome. And of course, Kerry Rhodes has been excellent as well. Week 15 game against the Bills. They've won like 10 games this season, so I'm expecting us to get slaughtered here. This is back when they had Marsha and Lynch. Already got an interception. I'm doing like the super sim way so I can actually call all of the plays, but I'm not down on the field watching it live. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to see the end result, but I'm going to go through the same process myself. I just like to do it this way so I know what's being called and know who's getting the ball how many times. Oh, Kotri looks to have a back injury. No. <sighs> Come on, guys. Please catch this. Pass thrown away fourth and 10 on the 26. And we'll take another field goal. Cern has got two this game. At least he's going to be getting closer to, like, Pro Bowl material. 17-yard rush for McFadden. A lot of drop passes out here. This is frustrating. Pass deflected. Third and 15. Let's try check down. Oh, it actually got a completion. Oh, my goodness. Six yards for Darren McFadden. He's driving us down the field. Let's throw it again. Coles for 15 yards. Let's try this play. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. He's got 65 Rushing yards and one touchdown in this game so far. We skipped most of the defense. We got the lead again, 13-10. I know it's not the best play call screen. Forced him to punt again. Good. Keep feeding McFadden, but we don't want him to get hurt. Keep in mind, I wish there would be a way to take him out, so I don't want him to get the ball every time. So they got the lead back, 17-13, fourth quarter now. Interception. We got the ball right back. Fumble scooped up by Carlos Dansby. Pass to Darren McFadden. That doesn't happen often. Two-yard rush by Andre Woodson. That also doesn't happen often. But he's throwing the ball well now. 12-yard rush. Another pass to Darren McFadden. Touchdown! Andre Woodson to Delaney Walker. Picked him up from free agency. Look at all those incompletions. So we got the lead back. If we somehow beat the Bills, that'll be crazy. They only got a minute and a half to go now. Nine seconds left. They made the field goal. Going to overtime now. Of course we want to receive the ball. McFadden returns it. Man, he's doing everything for us. I'll start. Come on, Nick Mangold. You're one of our better players. Interception. Come on, Andre Woodson. Third one of the game for him. He's got 21 interceptions on the year now. <laughs> Fourth and 10. So we got the ball back, thankfully. Haven't lost it yet. 80-yard rush from who? Jaquan Tryon. Whoa, the free agent just won us the game in overtime. What a crazy run. Wow, we upset the Bills 26 to 20. We're at 500 now. Darren McFadden, another 100-yard rushing game. What a story. The third string running back, Jaquan Tryon. My goodness, what a legend. That would have been cool to see play out, but Andre Woodson, three picks this game. He's not getting rookie of the year with all these interceptions, but Darren McFadden might. How many yards he's getting? And he got 44 receiving yards this game, which would not happen when we play it live. He's got a thousand rushing yards on the year. Calais Campbell, 10 tackles, one sack, CJ Mosley, two interceptions for David Harris this game. One fumble recovery for Carlos Dansby. Approval goes up to 89. I mean, we beat a team with 10 wins right there. We're 500 on the year. So, I mean, our draft spot's hurting. David Harris picks up defensive player of the week. He's been helping us a lot. Two games left in the season. This one is against the Seattle Seahawks. This is going to be another one we simulate. Let me know, do you find it boring when I simulate it like this? But I guess you could always just skip ahead in the video. I always have those time codes for you. I'll do my best to talk over it, but it's just a screen. <laughs> it's not going to be able to move or anything. Touchdown, Matt Hasselbeck. If we could finish 500, that'd be huge for me. Another interception from Andre Woodson. Another <laughs> touchdown, 14 nothing already. We're going to get blown out. There you go. Roydell Williams downfield. It proves to me that we need to get a receiver in this draft. Let's just punch it in. Touchdown, Darren McFadden. Got to get him rookie of the year now. He's our new target since Andre Woodson has fallen off the map. They're moving it down pretty quickly. They're about to score here again. Third touchdown of the game for Matt Hasselbeck. Deflected. My goodness. They are prepared to stop us this game, aren't they? We got the ball back. Nice. David Harris has been very productive. Dropped by Coles. Deflected. Oh my goodness. Let's try Yeet then. Incomplete. Another three and out. Start running the ball again. Okay. Finally completing a pass down there. Let's toss it. Get a touchdown here. Darren McFadden, second one of the game. Oh, returned. Nate Burleson returns the kickoff. 104 yards for the touchdown. Bruh. 
Ooh, Andre Woodson's picking it up. Touchdown, Andre Woodson. 31-21. We get ball first, second half. Yeah, we'll throw it first down to Delaney Walker. Let's go with going out. Touchdown. Intercepted. How many is that on the game? Two interceptions. Another multi-interception game for the rookie. Field goal no good. Okay, three-point game. Let's keep the ball on the ground. 41-yard pass to Roydell Williams. Let's try this short passing play. Touchdown, Andre Woodson. So he's got three passing touchdowns, two interceptions. But if we get the win, that's all we care about, right? Interception from Dansby. We got the first down. That should be the ball game. Way to go, Jaquan Tryon. That'll do it. Another victory for us. 35-31 against the Seahawks. I am blown away by this team. Downside, though, is Darren McFadden got a leg injury, so we don't know how he's doing right now. Kind of an ugly game for Andre Woodson, but he still managed to get the win. Three passing touchdowns, two interceptions, 250 yards. Darren McFadden, almost another 100 rushing yard game. 24 attempts, 93 yards, two touchdowns. Dudes carrying us every single game. Roydell Williams was very good today. Six catches, 149 yards, and a touchdown. One for Cotri and one for Coles. Carlos Dansby, another interception. Checking out the injury report, though. Oh no, his right leg is 0% right now. Is he like done for the year? Please tell me it's not as bad as it looks. 0% is pretty bad. Oh no, Darren, please don't be dead. My approval is 93. We're going to finish the year at 500 or above. Everybody's a fan of it. The owner doesn't care. The fans love it. Staff loves it. Media loves it. New York's trainer ran a few more tests, but the results remain oh, unchanged. Oh no. It appears that one of their players will be sidelined for some time with a torn ACL and PCL. Oh no, Darren McFadden torn ACL and PCL. We got to place him on the IR. That means we got to win with Jaquan Tryon and Leon Washington. <laughs> Poor Darren McFadden, we run him into the ground. We're going to have to look at other running backs because when I go in these games, we're going to need to be able to survive. So that actually lowered Darren McFadden's long-term potential because he tore his ACL and PCL. I don't know the timetable of when he'll return because his right leg is at 1% for probably a long time. He's out for the rest of the year, but hopefully in the offseason he can recover. Because we're going to need him if we're going to do anything in this series. I'm hearing that the coaches for one NFL team are excited about the player's progress in the film room. His position coach believes that this breakthrough is unexpected, but encouraging. I'm North Turner. Whoa. Did you hear that from Adam Schefter? We have a game changer breakthrough. Kenyon Coleman has a development breakthrough. I don't know what that means. What position does he even play? <laughs> That's bad that I don't know who he is. Oh, there he is. He's on IR. He's our right end. He had a breakthrough in playbook knowledge, but it's not going to really affect much. Of all the breakthroughs, that's probably one of the weaker ones. Breakthrough sounds kind of cool, but that one in specific was not very impressive. Yeah, looking at the standings, we are not going to make playoffs or anything here. But if I win the game, I will finish 9-7 and seven on the year above 500. And we can stick it to the Dolphins for sweeping them this year. Here's the final Pro Bowl voting of the year. Darren McFadden is actually going to make the Pro Bowl even though he's on IR with a torn ACL and PCL. Let's look at his final stats for the season. 1,100 rushing yards, 15 rushing touchdowns, an average of 4.7 yards per carry, 4 fumbles, 145 receiving yards, 1 touchdown as well. Darrell Revis dropped out of the cornerback voting, but Kerry Rhodes is still in there for the Pro Bowl. Let's get this dub against the Dolphins. They've won 5 games this year, we've won 8. Oh, looks to have an arm injury. We can't afford injuries. Well, I mean, the, the season's... This is over. Like, we're not making playoffs. This is all for pride at this point. Maybe a draft spot. Let's just throw the ball a lot. We don't have a Darren McFadden today. Wait, Coles threw that pass. Interesting. Let's see if this play-action play will work in the red zone. Touchdown. Let's try to not throw an interception here. Touchdown, Andre Woodson. Another interception, dude. He's getting multiple interceptions the past, like, four games. Actually, every single game today. I'm just going to simulate to the end of the game since we pretty much all got it wrapped up now. 24-6. to six, We stomped him. Andre Woodson, two touchdowns, two picks. I don't know why Coles threw a pass, but he did. Completed for six yards. Jaquan Tryon, a decent effort. Leon Washington, they both had about 44 yards. One touchdown for Tryon. Coles had 100 32 receiving yards in this game. Delaney Walker, another receiving touchdown. Holy, look at all these sacks. One for Dansby Campbell, Mosley, Mincy, Ward, Thompson. Approval at 94. So our approval at the end of the year is actually 94. That is light years above of where I expected it to be. I thought I was going to be below the 65 mark. We, we managed to do it. The only goals we failed this year is get like a couple of players to certain things, but... It doesn't matter. Where we are right now is in the clouds. Like, we did very, very well.
But we won our last four games. Mainly because I stepped in to simulate and choose the plays myself. But I think that's the way to do it from now on if we want to win our games. Now that's pretty cool. We can look at our approval after each game through the season. So in week one against the Dolphins, we were at 58 when we won. Then we lost when I simulated against the Patriots, 51, 68. And then we got all the way up to 90 against the Bengals. There were so many defining moments in that game. It boosted me up nearly like 30 points. Dropped down slowly, and then we had that 70-point game against the Rams up to 93. The defining moments is what really does it. Everything else, like if you win, yeah, you'll stay in the right direction, but that's not the main thing. If you win the game and have defining moments in it, that's how you boost your approval. Winning the last four games of the season was very unexpected, but I'm proud of the team. Individual leaders. Andre Woodson, obviously, 3,700 passing yards, 24 touchdowns for him. Awesome rookie season. Well, wait until we look at the interceptions, though. Darren McFadden, over 1,000 rushing yards, 15 touchdowns. Kotri, 76 catches, 1,200 receiving yards. He will be back with this team next season. Seven receiving touchdowns for him as well. Carlos Dansby, almost 100 tackles. Four sacks, six interceptions for Kerry Rhodes, two TDs for Darrell Revis. One kick return for a touchdown for Justin Miller. I'm glad that it gives us a little recap of this. So winning that game actually does give us a pretty stinky draft pick, though, because we're in the middle of the road. NFL MVP, who got it? Tom Brady. I don't know why these are going so fast. Offensive Player of the Year, Reggie Bush. Defensive Player of the Year, Lance Briggs. Rookie of the Year, Darren McFadden, who's on IR right now. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Brandon Flowers. Coach of the Year, Big Old Drewski. No, I'm just kidding. This has been a long episode, but it's been good. Darren McFadden was named Offensive Rookie of the Year today, and his coaches and teammates were thrilled to hear the news. Without him, they never would have had the season they did. Darren McFadden is a legend. I hope he's okay for next season. So my approval change went up seven by completing my goal this year. We were actually above 500 when I expected us to be below 500. He wants me to stay, obviously. I'm going to stay with my team. I drafted these guys, of course. Why would I, why would I leave? This video is brought to you by Thrustmaster. Thrustmaster makes high quality gaming controllers. The controller they sent me was the eSwap X Pro. I've been using it when I've been doing like my PC gaming, especially emulating older games. They mainly design these controllers for like competitive gaming, like Rocket League, 2K or FIFA. You also have the ability to customize and move modules around on your controller. Say if you wanted this joystick down here, you just pop it out. I move this one up here and now I move this one back down here and now if you're doing like those madden mini games like the 40 yard dash this becomes way easier and using their blue color pack i was able to easily switch around and basically make an entire new controller that's customized because i really like the blue these are really great controllers i really love them the response time is amazing basically zero latency if you're doing a ton of gaming especially like pc or xbox this would be a great controller pickup pick up the eSwap x pro controller from best buy today thanks again to thrustmaster for sponsoring this video if you're not satisfied with any of your coaches, now's your opportunity to make the change. All right, we're getting into off-season stuff now, so I think I'm going to end this episode right here. But I'm excited to look at some new staff members. It looks pretty cool. We can hire staff coordinators, all that good stuff. So I hope to see you back here next time for the off-season. We're going to do the draft, and we're going to hire some new coaches and stuff. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters Jack Webb, Zach Harper, Anthony Uhas, Cameron Hood, Timbo Slice, Cameron Tipton, Richard Pizer, Tristan Stagner, Kobe Cochran, Keenan White, The Test Man, John Hollier, Seth Washburn, Timothy Statson, Matt Woodruff, and Colin Kohler.